Congratulations! You are about to experience the first five lessons of an exciting breakthrough in learning music theory. The Vaughn Cube for music theory is an amazing mental music calculator. In only four hours of DVD video instruction and approximately three hours of practice, you will know and remember thousands of facts of music theory. These will include being able to identify and interpret key signatures, including knowing which notes are sharp or flat for every major and minor key. You'll be able to identify relative major and minor keys. You'll be able to spell the scales for every major and minor key. And you'll be able to spell intervals up or down from any note. You'll be able to spell all triad chords. You'll also be able to spell all major, dominant, minor, half-diminished, and diminished seventh chords. You'll be able to work with chord progressions. You'll be able to do all these things completely from memory. Millions of individuals have spent years to learn what you will learn in just hours. After just several lessons, you'll be amazed with what you've learned and how easily you can remember it. That's because everything taught in the course includes a technique to show you exactly how to remember it. Let's get started. We are going to begin this course on music theory with one of the most exciting of my learning systems. It is a methodology that involves the inside of a numbered cube, like the inside of any room. This methodology allows you to use any familiar square or rectangular room as your own numbered room cube. The room may be any room in your home, a classroom, or any room anywhere with which you are familiar. I'll assume that you are in a relatively square or rectangular room right now. Even though the room is not likely to be a cube, it will work. Face the front wall of the room in which you are now located. Any of the four walls will work. Just choose a wall and call it the front wall. A cube or any square or rectangular room has four walls and four corners. In this room, the wall with the fireplace will be the front wall. Imagine yourself standing in the center of this room facing the front wall. Also, imagine yourself standing in the center of the room in which you are now located facing the front wall. I will now assign the single digit numbers 0 through 7 to the four corners and four walls of the cube. The odd numbers 1, 3, 5, and 7 are assigned to the four corners of the cube. As you face the front wall, look over your left shoulder to the back left corner. The back left corner is location 1. Point to the back left corner and say 1. If there is furniture in the corner, or a door, an archway, or the like, see the entire general area of the corner as the number 1 location. Moving clockwise around the cube with the odd numbers, the front left corner is location 3. Point to the front left corner and say 3. Continuing with the odd numbers in the corners, the front right corner is location 5. Point to the front right corner and say 5. The back right corner is location 7. Point to the back right corner and say 7. As you face the front of the room to review, the corners are the odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 
and seven. The walls are the even numbers, starting at the back wall with location zero. The four walls are zero, two, four, six. Again, the even numbers are zero, two, four, and six. The back wall is location zero. Point to the back wall and say zero. Moving clockwise around the cube, the left wall is always location two. Point to the left wall and say two. The front wall is location four. Point to the front wall and say four. And last, the right wall is location six. Point to the right wall and say six. Look at this illustration. It is a top-down view of the cube, or the room in which you are now located. Notice the simplicity of the numbered cube. The corners are the odd numbers, starting at the back left corner. One, three, five, seven. The walls are the even numbers, starting at the back wall. Zero, two, four, six. This means you can start at the zero location, the back wall, and move clockwise around the cube to the back right corner. Look, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When the video ends, please review this lesson in your learning guide. Please be certain you can think of any number between zero and seven sequentially or randomly, and know where it is located in the cube. Also, please be certain you can look at any corner or wall, sequentially or randomly, and know its number. This is a memory course. It is designed for 100% retention. But you can relax because I'll teach you how to remember everything taught in the course. Please do not continue to the next lesson until you are absolutely sure you know how the cube is numbered. If you make certain you know 100% of what is taught in every lesson before continuing to the next lesson, you will know thousands of facts of music theory when this short course is completed. If you continue without knowing the present lesson, or if you skip a lesson, it will be very difficult for you to continue through the course. You are going to learn more music theory in less time than has ever before been possible. The course will provide a solid foundation upon which to build your knowledge of music theory. You will be more excited about music because you will learn incredibly fast and you will remember incredibly well. Each lesson is based on what you learned in previous lessons. That is why it is necessary for you to know everything taught in each lesson before continuing. Take advantage of this unique opportunity to learn music theory. You'll really be excited about how much you learn and how quickly you learn it with the CUBE methodology. Have fun. This ends this lesson.